it is and yes this one is a 40 inch cable it is so amazing to knit with these and these are my sons so I already did the 2 inch yeah which I did them both like that 2 inch because I will be doing the pebble socks by Mina Phillip I believe is in her what is it vanilla part 1 I believe or part 2 she has the pebble socks there so I've heard so much about it on YouTube with all these amazing podcasters about it. So I decided to join the wagon because I do have part one and part two. And I also ordered the Mina's Vanilla Recipe. Um, What is it called? It's a cow. No, it's a club where she will be, I believe, where she will be putting like seven seven um sock knitting patterns so you purchase it on Ravelry and you join and you knit those beautiful socks because her patterns are amazing so I will be using the pebble socks for mine for my sons and mines he is super excited and plus I sent him to shop in my stash and he said he's gonna look for anything that looks gold so anything yellowy gold will do so he was debating with the other yarn or this one, but he figured this one has more yellow in it. I, I don't know. To me, it's a mustard color, but they call it lemon drops, I guess. So knitting with these needles is amazing. I have the DPNs, and I love them. So this is how they come when you receive it. This was my Valentine's Day gift to myself. And they come wrapped like this. And this is their cases. So I got size 1, 5 inch needles, 40 inch cables, 2.25 because that's the only fixed circular needles that they do have right now. They do not have, um, they do not have more sizes like this. They have the other ones where you buy them. And it looks like that. Let me get them. And this is the actual case for it. So it's pretty cool. I was going to add my um, higher, higher sharp 32 inch. I was going to use these instead of those. But I like my higher, higher sharps. So I wanted to use these precious needles on my son's socks. This is the love of my life. I love my son. I love my twins. They're the world to me. I do anything for them. What mother wouldn't do anything for their kids, right? So, but I might cast on some socks with that, with the other ones, because why not? It's lonely. So, anywho, speaking of higher, higher sharps, I ordered four of the size one, 2.25 millimeter in 32 inch sharp. Along with the one that's on my um my socks. And then I also got the 40 inch. Another 40 inch. Because I want to give it a go to try it. I want to really try um, knitting two at a time socks. Which I'm not keen about that yet. Because I mean... On my rainbow footsie socks, uh, I did knit the cuff and the leg magic looping the way Mina teaches you how you put your yarn balls in a project in a wedge project bag, and then as you finish a row, you turn the needles, but you also turn the bag so like that your yarns won't tangle, and that worked out pretty fine. She is a blessing. Mina Phillip, by the way, because I'm mentioning her a bit too much. Her name in YouTube is Knitting Expat Podcast. She's amazing. Right now she's living over here in New York City in Manhattan. And uh, I met her at Vogue Knitting Life. If you guys want to know who that is, I have pictures posted on my Vogue Knitting Life um, part one and part two videos that I posted here on YouTube and you will see that I met a couple podcasters that are amazing so yeah we're doing can't stop won't stop gotta have it mm, that's my stash enhancement segment 
So yeah. I feel so thirsty lately. So I did mention that I bought this. And it also has the recipe for her German short wool heel and mini heel flap adjustment. This pattern has a lot of pages. Lot of pages. So yeah. So that's there. Maybe the next socks I cast on, I'm going to do that too. Or I might do the German short roll flap gusset thingy. Maybe I'll try that heel with my sons and mine. Okay. I remember on my last podcast, which is not the one with the Vogue knitting. The one prior to that one. Uh, Patricia had gifted me for my birthday a yarn that when I did that podcast, I couldn't, I couldn't find. And I found it. And thank you very much, Patricia, for dyeing this yarn and gifting it to me because I love it. And here it is. Yes. True to colors, you guys. It has purples, blues. Yeah, purples and blues. You see it right there. Right there. True to color right there. So she gifted me this yarn because she knows I love purple. So now I feel good because I found that. And also because I found my my purple blueberry socks that I made. So anywho, Lion Ryan. I have two bags here. Lion Brand recently put up Mandela. It's a new yarn from them. It's called Mandela. And I got four skeins. That was also my Valentine's Day gift. This one is called War Warlock's Warlock. I was trying to read the other one. So it's called Warlock right there. And this bad boy right here has 590 yards. And this is $9.99 at Lion Brand. So I got that one. I also got Chimera. And it looks like that. Did I show it this way? Okay. This is Chimera. It's a lot of yardage in yardage in there. Then I got this one because I wanted to branch out a little bit of my colors. This one is called Genie. Ain't it amazing? Then the last one I got, it's so like me. This one is called Gnome. Yeah, this is a rainbow. You know me and my rainbows. I like bright, fun colors and... I branched out though, at least with the other colors. I wanted to try something new. I believe I want to get another gnome. Was it gnome? No, not the gnome. I think warlock is the one that I want to get another one because I want to make a show with that one. I do. And then they also have this showing out. And I'm gonna try it, but it's so squishy. It's called Merino Yak Alpaca, 126 yards, 70% Merino wool, 15% alpaca, 15% yak. And this one is black. That one is black. And then I got four of these. Same, same yarn, practically just purple. So I got four of these. And I got these little scissors. They're so cute. See? I think they're so cute. And I like bright pink. I don't like dead pink. By the way. I don't know. I just don't. I don't like the muted pink. I like the pink to look alive, not dead. Maybe, who knows? Maybe in the future I might knit something with... A dead pink. That's what I call it, dead pink. And then on this bash over here, I have another black. 
and then I have red. For those of you that have has headphones on, I'm sorry about the little crinkling noise. And then they had the color moth. And this I did purchase a sweater's quantity of. But I will be mixing this with the dark purple. Let me show it to you here. I will be mixing the moth with the dark purple. Maybe it's a striper or something. I'm not sure yet. But it's a contender. So yeah, so I those are my stash enhancements. And a beautiful yarn that Patricia gifted me. And I also have some yarn that, that um that Verna gifted me for my birthday, which you guys have seen in the podcast. Because I showed that last time. And yeah, so that is all I have as far as knitting. Now on to the blather. I have I have had a couple of hard times in the past few weeks. So I, I am going through you know some rough patches with the hubby, whatnot. I love that bastard, but he's so stubborn and stuff, so yeah. I also went to see my uncle, well my mom's uncle, aunt's wife, I mean aunt's Blue, I can't talk. With my aunt, my mom's aunt's husband, but she has cancer and whatnot. So I went to go visit him and see how he's doing and stuff. And then after that, uh, I just been home with the kids. My girls have a home attendant now, so at least I have some help now. Not that I needed so much help before, but. It's good to have somebody in the house, you know, to talk to or whatnot. My father plays a big role in my life. I love my father. I can sit and talk to him about anything, any advice I need, or whatnot. He's always the person I go to. Or my mom. But, you know. I am daddy's little girl. And stuff like that. So, Yeah. That's pretty much it, you guys. I wish I knew how to post threads on Ravelry. I tried and been getting some messages back stating that I'm posting things where I'm not supposed to. I'm new to the Ravelry. You know, I gotta update my stash, which I haven't done. But we women can do only but so much, right? So anyways, bye. Thank you for watching my podcast. Those that are newcomers, thank you for coming by. Thank you for stopping by and enjoying my podcast. If you guys want to leave me any type of reviews or, you know, just say hi downstairs in the comment below. Let me know what you're interested on. Um, if you know how to post threads on Ravelry, please let me know. Um... So yeah, and for the ones that always come and visit my podcast, hey people, welcome back, but it's time to go. I'm not a singer, I ain't gonna do that to you, cause then I'm gonna kill your ears, and that's not cool. So anyways, thank you, have a great night, because over here where I'm at right now is 12.03pm, so I gotta like... Hit the sack, go Mimi. Because tomorrow I got to get up early because my twins wake up early like if they work and they don't. So bye.